Famke, I, I saw the film last night. You play a really badass witch. Um, scary, in fact. Your face changes. <laughs> um, I don't know a lot about makeup and stuff, but did that require a lot from you to... No, that was just me really getting into character and just transforming myself <laughs> into this deliciously ugly creature. Oh, you know, props to me, right, for doing that. No, it's, right. it's three hours of makeup. I can't even, I can't even imagine. So, um, have you ever had to do anything even remotely similar to that? Nothing. No. No. I, I now have a whole newfound respect for all my colleagues on the X-Men movies who had to go through a much more mm -hmm. extensive version of uh, prosthetic makeup than I did on this film because there was it was their entire body. I don't know how they endured it. I know they were pretty miserable while we were shooting, and I understand why right. now. It's hard. Right, because that's, that's the first thing that jumped out at me. Is yeah. It's like when you're not expecting it. Um, what uh, what made you decide to, to do this film? You're, you're an accomplished actress. You've done a lot of different things. What was it that appealed to you about this role? You know, I, I think it was really sort of looking at my career, what I'd done, what I hadn't done, and... Um, being a fan of the fairy tale and, you know, how much impact it had, had on me as a kid and whatever. And then realizing, like, you know, we just, we, we live in the 21st century. That story is not probably going to be told anymore in the way that we were told it as kids and or read it. And, you know, this is, maybe people are going to relook at it again. Um, and just, it's done with a new twist, you know, an interesting spin uh, given on the story, bringing them back as grown-ups, and, you know, mostly also being in prosthetic makeup. I just had never actually, not that I liked the prosthetic makeup part of it, as a matter of fact, I hated it, but it was mostly that it just, as an actor, it, it brings a whole new challenge in a way that I just never had been challenged before. I'd been challenged on many different levels before, but not on this one. Got it. Okay. Um, how did you, outside of the makeup, how did you prepare for this role? Anything unusual that you didn't necessarily have to do with other roles that you've had in the past? No, it's actually my preparation into it was similar to the, the process I've been doing for, you know, as long as I've been acting. I work with an acting coach, do all of that kind of stuff. What was mostly puzzling to me is that all that work, I kind of had to throw out the window once I was on set and I looked at myself in the mirror going, uh, no, I can't possibly act the way I always act because I don't have any of the tools anymore. My eyes are not mine, my, you know, my lips are not mine, my face is not mine, my facial expressions are gone, and so, you know, I just, I felt like I was acting for the first time again in my life, and it was also, I had I'd taken three years off from acting to get my own movie off the ground as a writer-director, so I just, I felt a little bit rusty to begin with, mm -hmm. so it was just like a whole new way of finding um, how to make something work. Sort of scary and fun at the same Very time. Very scary, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I do want to get this in real quickly. Well, actually, yeah, bringing up Bobby, um, you're a writer-director yourself, so yeah. what was it, you know, having that experience, what was it like working with Tommy? You know, it's really nice to now go back as an actor and see, you know, oh, this is how a director is doing that, and how would I do that, and, you know, I, all of a sudden I'm just looking at things differently. Um, and, uh, but in, in the case of Hansel and Gretel, I was too busy being consumed by Muriel to really to pay much attention. I was also not, mm -hmm. I wasn't in the position to just sit on set and wait and uh, see what, well, how they were setting up and what the lighting was like and how the 3D cameras worked and whatever because it right. was just, you know, this this creature with all the prosthetic makeup was just all consuming. Okay, last question for you. I, uh, I went out on Twitter, I let people know I'd be interviewing you and somebody mm -hmm. did want me to ask you um, if you'll be in uh, Repricing your role as Jean Grey in uh, the new X-Men film, Days of Future Past. Just tell them that I really hope so, but nobody's called me. <laughs> I know they've been casting it, and some of right. my colleagues have been cast, but no, nobody's called me, unfortunately. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. Thank Thanks you. So